Kwasi Hasui was an artist who was well known for creating beautifully detailed woodblock prints of the landscape of his hometown country, Japan. When I say print, do you know what I mean? Have you ever used a stamp before? I bet you have. So a stamp, there is a picture and it is created, here we go, by ridges that stand up to create the design like you see on my tiger here. And when you take your stamp and you press it in an ink pad, the ink sticks to these ridges. And then when you take the stamp from the pad and put it on your paper, or maybe even your hand, the ink transfers from the ridges to your paper. Um, so, Hasui loved to travel through Japan he would create drawings on paper, or sometimes he would do watercolor paintings of what he saw, and then he would turn them into prints using the wood um, and carving away lines. What kinds of landscapes do you think he could print? What kind of places have you been to outside? Did anyone say pictures with water in them? Or maybe houses? or trees, or maybe mountains, or maybe fields with flowers and vegetables in them. There are so many possibilities. Hasui would also create prints of the different seasons of the year, winter, spring, summer, or fall. And he also liked to create prints that showed different times of the day. So when you first wake up early in the morning and the sun is rising in the sky, or at noon when the sun is overhead, or even in the evening when the sun is setting and the sky is full of beautiful colors. And then also at nighttime. And what would you see in the sky then? Maybe some stars or the moon, maybe even some clouds. So the print that we are looking at is called Beautiful Night of Moon and Stars, Miyajima. Let's check out the print to see what time of day it is. Looking at Beautiful Night of Moon and Stars, Miyajima by Kawasi Hasui. What do you notice? What time of day is it? How can you tell? Did anyone say that they noticed the color of the sky? That it was darker? Oh, and there are stars in the sky. Yes, so this tells us what? That it is nighttime, you're right. Did anyone notice that there is another light in the picture? Yes, I see the lantern also. The lantern is down at the bottom of the print, sitting in the sand. Did anyone notice what the lantern is in front of? Did you say water? Do you notice the structure in the water? Or maybe you noticed both. The structure you see is called a tori, and it is seen in front of shrines in Japan. A shrine is a building considered to be special or holy. Did you notice the Tori's reflection in the water? Have you seen your reflection in the water before? Or maybe in a mirror? Now, also, I see something behind the Tori. Something that is actually really large in real life, but it looks smaller on the page. It touches the sky and it touches the water. Does anyone know what that is? Yes, a mountain. Now, if you follow the mountain along the skyline where, to where it touches the Tori, you may notice that something else 
comes winding out in front of the Tory and also up above and covers the sky at the top of the page. You might also see a star twinkling out between the branches and the needles or the leaves. What is that? Yes, it's a tree with branches and leaves. But where is the trunk? We don't see it, do we? Because it is somewhere outside of the page. Now, if you go back down to the bottom of the page where the lantern is sitting in the sand, you will see a shape in the corner. Do you see it? It's a circle. What color is it? It's a circle that is red. Now that is the artist's signature where he stamped his name. Do you notice anything else? Maybe the colors in the print. What are the colors of the water? What are the colors of the Tory? What about the lantern? And the leaves of the tree? What about the stars? <laughs>